My name is Ahmad Smadi, and I believe in the infinity of the human potential. When I was 18 months old, I ingested cleaning chemicals from underneath the sink, a lye solution used to unclog drains. My parents rushed me to the hospital, but my insides were burned. The doctors told my parents to save their money and have another kid. But my parents had faith. They took their life savings and decided to give it a shot. I survived, but my lungs were infected. The lower part of the left one was removed. My esophagus was sealed shut, and I had to eat out of a gastric tube for five years. Every few days to several weeks, I would go in for routine dilation procedures to keep the scar tissue from closing permanently. From the ages of 5 to 13, I was able to chew food and push it down my throat with my knuckles. The opening was so narrow that a lemon seed would get stuck. I often had to spit food back up that wasn't chewed well enough. In December of 1999, I woke up during one of the dilation procedures. I remember hearing one of the doctors saying he couldn't give me any more anesthesia because I had the maximum dose. I went through the rest of the procedure awake. I felt and heard everything. I managed to breathe through my nose and made it through, but a hole was punctured in my esophagus as a result of some initial convulsions upon my regaining consciousness. I was 13 years old at the time. I went on an all-liquid diet for six months to see if the hole would heal. It didn't. In June of 2000, I underwent an esophageal replacement surgery. The plan was to pull the stomach up to the throat, but my surgeon informed my parents during the operation that the stomach tissue was too damaged. He was going to try and use a piece of my large intestine. There was only a 60% chance I would make it. The esophagus was removed and part of my colon was inserted in its place. 30 days after I got out of the hospital, I was running 5 miles a day with the cross country team. 15 years later, I'm competing for a spot on the US Olympic boxing team. Boxing to me is life after death. Every moment in the ring, I die to the past, I live in the present, and I punch for the future. My goal is to raise enough money to train full time. Half of everything we raise will go to Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, where my life was saved by Dr. James Stein and his fantastic team of fellow doctors, nurses, and staff members. My hope is to inspire people, especially children suffering from any illness or medical complication. I want everyone to truly believe anything is possible. My family and I came to the States after the initial accident because the medical technology wasn't sophisticated enough in Syria where I was born. America literally saved my life and gave me so much opportunity. There would be no greater honor than for me to represent Team USA in the Olympic Games and bring back the gold. When it's all said and done, I only really base my life on two things, God and never giving up. Thank you for your support. May God bless you and may God bless the United States of America. Nice. That had a little resistance to it? Just a little bit. A little bit. Good. What do you think?